the Sex Panthers, Mr. Pink, Mr. Sting, Red Bush, Vangina, and Easy, ready for action. Playing against Funlin v Lines, Chad, Woody, Pedro, Stepford White, and Dateline. Let's start the Fennec Feud. With the host of the Fennec Feud, Jeremy Fennec. Hello, boys. How are you doing, everybody? What's going on? Welcome to the Penalty Box. Hello, Funlin v Lines over here. Hello, Sex Panthers. Are we ready to do this? All right, kids. We've taken your favorite TV game show and we've well, stepped it up a notch. We call it after dark a little bit. It certainly is. Kids got to be in bed. Here's why. We've added Viagra and steroids and it's a little more risque, all right? Uh, so based on that, as you guys sit there in the crowd, if you want, let me know between games. I've got a survey over there. You guys fill out the answers that end up here on Big Blue. It's also a little different in the fact that instead of 300 points, you got to get to 1,000 points. What? That's okay, number one's always 50 points, number two is always 45, number three is always 40, so on and so forth. We double, we triple, and all that crap. So, uh, that being said, uh, who's gonna win? Will it be the Fondling Free Lions? Hello, Jay! Yeah. Little rowdy over here, okay? Chad, who did you bring to play? I'm not quite sure, apparently, but I have my, uh, my good friend Woody over here, uh, my cousin Pedro, my neighbor, the Stepford Wife, and then you may have seen him on NBC. This is my friend Nate How are you? All right, well, I wish you guys tons of luck, but you have to defeat the Sex Panthers over yeah. here. Hello, Mr. Pink. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm well. Who did you bring? I brought my friend Clay. Oh, that's not fun at all. Is it? Oh, Mr. Stink. There you go. Okay. My fiance, Red Bush. <laughs> Fungina. That's fantastic. I love how your fiance is a person away. Is there a reason for that? Or? Okay, I don't want to know. I would just leave that alone. All right, well, like I said, it's the first team to a thousand points. Uh, you can also go online to my website, jeremyfennick.com slash feed. Watch past episodes. Tonight's episodes will be there and fill out the exclusive online surveys. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's play the game! Come on, stand. Let's go, Mr. Pink! All right, kids, we surveyed 69 drunks. Uh, as a matter of fact, with this one, we surveyed 69 drunk guys. So this one should be pretty easy for you guys, all right? With the top five answers up there on Big Blue, here's a question. Guys, what do you like to do when it's just you and the guys? So, drink. How about drink? Number one answer, you guys want to play or pass? We're going to play. They're going to play. You guys think of a steal, all right? Comes over here. Woody, what do you think? According to 69 Drunk Guys, what do you like to do when it's just you and the guys? You can't help each other. Yeah? Okay, what do you think, Woody? Go to the strip club. Oh! <laughs> Show me, go to the strip club! That's your first strike. Two more of those, and uh, I'm gonna go over there, they're gonna try and steal. Pedro, what do you think? Backyard football. How about some backyard football? Stepford wife, what say you? Three answers remain. Say play golf. Play golf, okay. How about play golf? All right. Dateline, what do you think? Two answers remain. Ba basketball, that's kind of under the whole sports. Yeah, we're going to, right? Yeah. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, strip club's already been picked, yep. I know how you're stalling here, quickly. Drink up, those are it. Three seconds, smoke weed again. Okay, smoke weed, he says in time. Smoke weed! He didn't, it's not on the moon? He, he didn't say smoke weed, I'm sorry. Is it up there? Oh, it is! You guys have the, the possibility of cleaning this board right up here, Chad. Do you think you can do it? I have two answers, I'm trying to pick the best one. Yep. Well, I'm going to say they talk about women. Yes. Okay. Talk about women is there. You guys have uh, cleared this board. Talk about women. <laughs> huh. That's only your second strike. What do you think, Woody? You need to give me that answer or they're going to try to steal. Talk shit. <laughs> okay. Talk shit. That's what we do. Guys, talk shit. <laughs> talk shit. Third strike, Mr. Pink, you and your Sex Panthers can steal 160 points right now. What do you think? Play poker. Play poker. 
Poker is there. The points are yours. If not, you keep your pot. Play poker. Oh! They retain their vote. Number three. Video game is so close. Let's get to it. I need to win it. I need Mr. Sting. Come on. Let's face off, kids. You like ran up here so fast. You're sorry, Jack. She's digging this. All right. You guys ready? 69 drunks survey. Got the top four answers up there on Big Blue. Here's a question. Name something a sexy bartender might pull out of her cleavage. What do you? Money. Money. How about money? It's yeah. number one. Play the pass. Play. They're going to play. Uh, they give a steal. All right. It comes to you, Pedro. Yeah. Tell me something a sexy bartender might pull out of her cleavage. A shot of whiskey. A shot of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> Upright and everything. A shot of whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Stepford wife, what do you think? How about some damp cigarettes? You know, a little boob sweat. A dateline, what do you think? An ink pen. An ink pen, okay. How about an ink pen? No! That's strike two, Chad. If you don't give me one of those answers, uh, yeah, they're gonna try and steal. You don't want that. What if her cleavage is where she stores her swizzle sticks? That's very specific. Okay, maybe, 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 no, maybe, swizzle stick. No! I thought that was it. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Mr. Pink, what do you think? A rainbow bottle opener. A bottle opener, how cool would that look? Let me just... All right, if bottle opener is there, you got 90 points coming this way, show me bottle opener. Yeah! Yeah! Nicely done, you guys. One answer we did not know. Number four. A lighter. lighter. Let's get to it. It's a 160 to 90. It's face off time. My name Pedro. I'm the Rick Rutbush. Well, you guys ready to do this? Either one, either or. <laughs> you want to practice? Check and see what's faster. Have you? Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, let's get right to this, shall we? 69 drunk survey, top seven answers up on Big Blue. Here's a question. Name something that gets scratched. Major. My nuts. <laughs> he said his nuts. <laughs> play or pass. They're going to play. Boy, you guys are killing it with these face-offs. Stepford wife, what do you think? Butt is different than crotch, yes. I gotta take your first answer and that's what it was. Even if it's in the form of a question, I'm gonna take your first answer. Yeah, I know, so quit, stop it, would you? Show me your butt. Ah! All right, Dateline, what do you think? Don't steal my shit, well that is where it comes from. Tell me something that gets scratched. Your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> I know how that is, right? Your stomach. First strike, Chad, what do you think? I love your where's the beef shirt? That's fantastic. I might trade you. We can be 80s brothers. I love it. I'm going out of the box again because it went so well last time. I'm going to say a lottery ticket. That's a good answer. That's a great answer. Show me a lottery ticket. Yeah. All right. Great answer. Woody, what do you think? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Show me your back. No. All right, three answers remain, Pedro. No. Your dog. Scra what? Your, your dog? Your dog. Your dog. What is that? Scratches the dog. Okay, how about scratches your dog? The dog's, the dog's scratch. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Big Blue got a kick out of it, though. Stepford wife, what do you think? Scratch your head. Scratch your head. Yeah, I know. The other one's already up there. Right. All right. Head. Yeah, that's the third strike. 155. You guys can take the lead right now. If you tell me something that gets scratched. Your nose. Scratch your nose. All right. Scratch your nose is there. You got the points. Nose. Yeah. All right. 
315 to 90, number four. Mitch. Jerks, man. Jerks. Five. Car, paint job, yeah. Number six. Glasses is what it says. All right, let's get to it. 315 to 90. Come on, Saturday night. Let's go from Georgia. Face-off time here at the Pimpley Bonds. Here we go. It is fun. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so it was such a nice day today. Did you guys know it hit 70 degrees at one point for a minute today? Yeah, it did. And it's going to snow on Monday. So you guys... <laughs> Thank you, Big Blue. Now, based on the warmth, we know it's coming. This is a fun question for that occasion. I put this in just for you guys. Just for you two. I knew it would be you two. Fun Gina and Stepford Wife. I knew... Here we go. Double the points, top five answers on the board. Here he is. Name something people do at a bonfire. Step number one. Make s'mores. How about make s'mores? It's there, but one answer will beat it. What do you think, Fun Giant? Drink. How about drink? Drink. Number one answer. You guys better play your pass. I was going to say, it's your first chance. Take it, take it. Easy. What do you think? <laughs> we got a few lap fires, and it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna fuel itself. Put wood on the fire. Good answer. It was a good answer. Though. Mr. Pink, it comes to you. Three answers remain. Uh, something people do at a bonfire. Smoke pot. Yeah. That's a good answer. It's a really good answer. I, I do that too. Big Blue knows all about it. Can you see the gears smoking up there? Smoke pot. Yeah, I'm just going right down the board here. Mr. Stink, two answers left. You give me one of them, please. Play games like horseshoes. Okay, okay, okay. Play games like horseshoes. Strike two comes to you. Listen to music. Show me. Listen to the music. Third strike, 270 up in the pot right now. Chad, you and the fondling felines here can uh, take those 270 points, put them to use on your side of the board. If not, they're going to keep their pot. What say you? Something people do at a bonfire. Yeah, uh -huh, thanks. Let's go with talk and tell stories. Okay. Talk and tell stories is there. You guys steal 270 points. Talk and tell stories. You guys take the lead. Nice. This is a nice tight game. What else were you guys thinking? Did you guys have other ideas? Sing? Kumbaya? Yeah. It's good. Oh. And break shit? Burn shit. Four. I did. Four. 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 Right, here we go, 69 drunk survey, doubling the points, top four answers on the board, survey 69 drunk guys. Sorry. Here we go. What makes a dress sexy? Easy. Cleavage. She says cleavage. Is cleavage on the board? No. Dateline? Ass? Okay, he says ass. Sherman? Hey, I gotta take your first answer. Ass? Okay. They struggled with this one last time we did it, but hang on, hang on. According to 69 drunk guys, what makes a dress sexy? The fact that it's low cut. How about a low cut dress? You're getting along the yeah, because dresses don't have cleavage, quite frankly. That's what I'm saying. How tight it is. How about yeah. how tight it yeah. is? There we go! Play your pass! Ah, now I'm gonna pass. Okay. Comes over to you, Woody. How high it is. How high it is. Okay, how about how high it is? First one. Pedro. Okay. Color? Ah, see? Wow. 
black dress, red dress. <laughs> My nipples are hard now, just thinking about it. Stepford Life, what do you think? Ah, how about a see-through dress? Okay! See, now you guys are getting your hands. All right, day nine? What's the question? You went to the face-off! Since the Day Family Feud debut, that's the number one stall tactic used. <laughs> Name something that, according to 69, guys would say, what makes a dress sexy? Three seconds. Okay, number two is sitting right there waiting for you to get strategy. Wait. Was it? Oh, I'm just kidding. I just want to get you guys all sucked up. Don't do this to me. I'm sorry. Pressure's on. I got a drunk answer here. You got a drunk answer. I got a drunk answer. Perfect. That should match up nicely. We'll see. When it's off, it's sexy. When it's off, it's sexy. Okay. If, when it's off, you guys are still at 250 points. When it's off. Well played, well played. All right, here we go. 69 drunk survey. Top seven answers on Big Blue. Here's a question. Name something you see on TV today that you didn't see 30 years ago, Chad. Condom commercials. <laughs> Trojan man. Show me condom commercials. All right, Mr. Tate. Nudity. How about nudity? Woody? Uh, How about homosexuality? It's there. Four answers will beat it though, Mr. Steve. How about drug usage? No! Do you guys want to play or pass? Oh, do you guys want to play or... Yeah, I, I didn't say you get to decide. I just was curious. Do you guys want to play or pass? We're going to play. We're going to play. You guys think of a steal. Okay. It comes to Pedro. Name something you see on TV today you didn't see 30 years ago. How about cell phones? There you go. Stepford what? Technology, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. Don't you think, Brad? Hey, only in this setting can I get away with that. You know what I'm saying? There's that stall tag of yours that keeps popping up. I mean, something you see on TV today, you didn't see 30 years ago. Three seconds. Yeah, go, go, quick. You have a lot of money. Oh, no. Better money. Show me a lot of money! Oh, okay. Dateline, what do you think? Cussing, okay. Cussing and swearing. How about cussing? Shit, uh, Chad? I also have a question, Jeremy. Is intercourse the same as nudity? No, it's not. And I'm gonna say fuck it. <laughs> he dropped the F bomb. <laughs> I guess we get what one before it becomes before big. It comes up, before, yeah. okay, well, before it comes, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, pork it. Yeah, okay. Woody. Reality television. Oh. Oh. We got two cheapest, most boring thing I watch. It costs nothing to make. A couple roses here and there, you know. Reality television. Yeah. Three answers left. Pedro comes back to you. What do you think? What was the question again? The question again. Name something you see on TV today you didn't see 30 years ago. 
Three answers left. Oh, and by the way, <clears throat> there's 420 in the pot. <laughs> Yay! All right, what do you think, Pedro? Drugs? Did we already say drugs? We already said drugs. We already said drugs, yeah. Okay. So was that three? Yes, yeah, three. Hey, there's 420 in the pot. You guys want the pot? You guys can have the pot. You can give me one of those three remaining answers. Tell me. Tell me you see on TV today? You didn't see it 30 years ago. Adult cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Show me adult cartoons. Yes! You guys have a shot to redeem yourself. Don't worry, another game in a minute or two. What's number one? Boobs. Four. That's, no, 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 that's, that, those could be man boobs. Number four, <laughs> women's sports. Now that's where the boobs would be, but that's different. Seven, drug commercials. Drug commercials. Oh, so close. All right, kids, it's 360 over 175 for the win, but don't go far. We're going to give you guys like a five, ten minute break to go refresh your beverages, get the bathroom, and we've got game two coming up in just a moment here at the Finley Boss. Congratulations, fumbling felines over here for the win for round one. Once again, game two coming up in a moment, kids. Go to our website, too, jeremyfinnick.com, and get that online survey. Listen to Jeremy Finnick in the Punch Out Party. We day after noon on Flint's Classic Rock Authority 103.9. The Fox. From somewhere in the back of Jeremy's demented mind. This is Paul Turner speaking for the Fennec Feud on 19.9. 